you know the power and authority that's available to you as a believer and follower of Jesus Christ? Are you ready to push back the gates of hell and proclaim territory for the kingdom of heaven? If you answered yes to either of those questions, you're in the right place. Hello and welcome to TMCI TV. My name is Matt Grossman and I pastor Rebuilt Ruins Ministries. I'm also on the media team here at TMCI. And today I'm excited to bring you a quick word of encouragement. Jesus says in Luke chapter 10, verses 19 through 20, that he has given us authority to walk on snakes and scorpions and authority over all the power of the enemy and that nothing will injure us. He also says not to rejoice that the spirits are subject to us, but to rejoice that our names are written in heaven. This is an extremely powerful and encouraging scripture. You see, the enemy came to steal, kill, and destroy, but Jesus came to give us abundant life. A huge key to that abundance is knowing and owning our God-given identity. Part of our true identity is not just knowing, but walking in the authority that Jesus commissioned us with. When we truly tap into the heart of the Father, through intimacy with the Son, the kingdom of heaven begins to flow out of us and shift the atmosphere around us. Everywhere we go, we have the opportunity to declare God's kingdom at hand and then demonstrate his will here on earth because the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is alive within those of us who have given our lives fully over to him. We live in a world today that is screaming for a savior. With all the wickedness and witchcraft bombarding people on a daily basis, we need to be a walking encounter of God's love. And to do that, we need to know who we are in Christ. The price that was paid on our behalf to give us power and authority over this dark stuff was way too precious not to take hold of and use every moment we have the opportunity. God is looking for people like you and I who will not bow down to fear. He wants to move through us. He wants to use us, but he's not going to force us to do anything we aren't willing to do. So I want to encourage you today to ask God what he would have you do in this next season for him. Ask him to fill you up with a spirit of boldness and to put people in front of you that need his touch. Ask him to use you to help set both prisoners and captives free. God did not give you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Take hold of his word and believe it. Own it. Personalize it. Live it. I've stared the forces of hell down many times during deliverance sessions, and you cannot back down or show weakness. You must unwaveringly know in the depths of your soul that Jesus is king, and greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. Every knee will bow to the authority of Jesus. So grab hold of it and don't be afraid to use it with joy. Remember, don't rejoice because the demons are subject to you, but because God loved you so much that he would write your name down in the Lamb's book of life. Thanks so much for watching. This is Matt from Reboot Ruins Ministries reminding you that God is with you, God is for you, and God is good. I'll catch you on a future video. Bye for now. Hi, I'm Douglas Wilson with Walking on the Word Ministries. Thank you so much for watching TMCI TV. We hope you enjoyed and were blessed with this week's Tuesday encouragement. You can help us share the good news by liking, subscribing, and turning on your notifications. This will help you keep up with the latest news and newest episodes. Be sure to join us for a new Tuesday encouragement every Tuesday on TMCI TV.